Hi there. So I'm still trying to figure out the uh, noise blanker on this Drake R4B. And I've been looking at the signal here, which comes off this tube, this V9 12BA6. They call this the noise amplifier. So this is also where test point one is to do your calibration, which is usually a negative voltage. But anyway, here they take RF off of this transformer, which looks like it simply resonates, and they pass half of it through this diode, and then a coupling capacitor, and then another diode, and it finally ends up here at pin 2 of um, V10A. And what does that do? Well, noise blanker. The output of V9 is applied to the grid of a noise shaper, V10A. So that indeed is the grid of the noise shaper. This stuff here goes to the noise shaper, which is V10A on pin 2. So I got some nasty noise in this thing, as usual, thanks to my neighbors, and you can hear it like this. And there's the waveform. That waveform is... So I'm attached right here on V10A. So that's the stuff coming in from noise amp into here. You can validate it yourself. That's pin 2 of the 12AX7. Okay, so there's the noise there, which going negative, going negative, it ought to trigger the grid of that too. And so what do we have here? Let's see. So what do they say is happening here? Applied to the noise shaper and the output of V10A is applied to the pulse amplifier V10B. So the output of V10A, and here's our V10A. The output is, it's a grounded cathode. So the output's coming right through here through C103. And it's being coupled into by a 2.2 mag into uh, pin 7. Let's take a look at pin 7, okay? So we're going to move on to pin 7. And you can tell that it's the right pin because all these wires are coupled into the noise blanker board. So anyway, pin 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pin 7. Okay, there's five. There's six or seven right there. So there's pin seven. And let's take a look at the scope. So that is going into our, that's messy looking, isn't it? So I still see some noise on here and I see some negative going pulses. And the negative going pulse is to trigger the pulse amplifier, I think. Anyway, there's our noise. And now I have some negative going pulses. So I'm not sure if this is correct or not for Drake, but I'm posting this out on YouTube, hoping people will correct me and say, that looks bad, or that looks reasonable on a Drake R4B. So, the next thing we do is look at the schematic and they say that this diode D3, this will conduct, and when it conducts, it grounds this capacitor here. It'll ground this RF right to ground. And this goes to the switch that engages the noise blanker. That this is basically grounded when the noise blanker is on. So let's make sure the noise blanker is on. It was not. 
Okay, there we are. Noise blinker on. Didn't change my noise, of course. That's why I'm testing the radio, but let's now take a look at the diode, which is pin eight on V10B. And V10B, V10B, Okay, B10B, B10B B10 is conducting, and B10B is held off. Okay, so B10B is held off. Noise pulse above level. The negative wind pulse applied to rear 10A, large positive wind, and the plate of 10A, we saw that. Large positive pulse is applied to the grid. Large positive pulse applied to the grid of V10B, which should make the grid conduct. Overcomes the bias and allows V10B to, 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 to reconduct. Okay, so that's good. Let's take a look at the grid here in pin 7 on V10B. All right, so I'm not sure how much my scope will load this stuff, but pin 7 of V10B. Okay, let's find it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right here, boom. Okay, there's V10B, pin 7 right there. V10B, pin 7. And that should be negative, and only positive when it's gonna have some pulses to kill off, some noise pulses, so it's kinda going all over. Um, am I on DC or AC? I'm on AC, let's go to DC here. Okay, there's DC, and let's ground this thing. Okay, so I'm right on level 1 DC, so... Yeah, this... This grid is going positive, so you can see the noise spikes. The noise spikes are positive, so the grid it should be conducting. So tube should conduct. So that looks fine, I guess. So let's take a look now at the diode, and I've been doing this many times now, unfortunately, so the diode, I know, is right on this board, noise blanker board, diode is right here, so if you look at this diode and find it in the schematic, there's the schematic, there's the diode, D3, so D3, this D3 conducts, and it should ground this RF from the IF stage and climb the thing down. So when this thing conducts, boom. So pin 8 should be pretty interesting. Pin 8 should be, well, can I see that? That's going to be RF that it's trying to ground. I've looked at pin 8 before and it doesn't look so charming, but let's take a look at it. Pin 8. Okay, a pin 8 is this little pin up here on the board. Pin 8 is like that little black wire. Pin 8 is right here. That's pin 8. So let's connect to that with the scope. And that changed the growl from the receiver a little bit. Anyway, we're on pin 8 now. And you'll see from the scope, it's not so great looking. So, there's pin 8. And the DC is crazy in this one, so let me go back to AC here. So... That's kind of cool. So I'm seeing some pulses. If I go to DC... I'm way off the scale, it's very positive. By how much? 
Okay, let's decrease the let's increase the voltage. Decrease the sensitivity here. 0 0.5 volts, 0.1 volt. There's five volts right there. Now let's go back to DC mode. And interestingly, that makes the uh, receiver more noisy. Makes it worse. Okay, well. Is this actually conducting? You would think that. I'm trying to bring it down. Okay, you would think that if this thing's conducting. Let's try this. Okay, so we're on top of the diode. Here's the bottom of the diode. If I can get the scope on it. Okay, diode bottom. And that looks like it is conducting with noise. Okay, semi-reasonable looking. So what if I now tune to a station and get rid of the noise? There were some stations here I thought. I'm on 160 meters again. There we go. Okay, so I'm not seeing any noise there. Still, okay, scope is still on. There's some noise. Not seeing the pulses anymore. Had some pulses here. Okay, there we go. There's some nasty noise. And yeah, no pulses. Oh, there's one. There's a few. It's not conducting a lot. Well, I think I lost my noise source. No, nope, there's some noise right there. So I'll turn the noise blanker on and off now. Noise blanker on. Noise blanker off. Noise blanker on. Let's try to get the thing to keep spinning here. Okay, noise blanker on. Off. It's off. So when it's off, I get no conduction at all. Well, that's kind of cool. So when it's off, I get no conduction. I get nothing coming through. When it's on, it's working. So at the bottom here, this, I really just want stuff to ground. I want this RF from here to ground out and be done. And so that's what I'm desiring. I'm connected right here right now. And is what I'm seeing reasonable? When it goes, conducts, yes, there'll be a positive voltage because there's a resistor there.
So I'm still not hearing any noise blanking. Noise blanker off. Noise blanker on. Noise blanker off. So I did notice that if I ground the pin that's silent, okay, so if I basically short this thing out, if I short the diode out, I will get quiet and the IF will quiet. So it seems like the resistor is at ground, or I'm sorry, the capacitor is at ground, this thing work. So let me see the ground here. And show you this part. So this wire here, This capacitor goes off to the plate voltage, don't ground that side. This side here, I'm safe to ground it. So watch what happens when I ground this thing quickly. It'll it'll pulse down and watch. So you can hear it cutting off the audio. So I think if this thing would work correctly, it would work. So what that tells me is that whatever this noise blanker does to ground, it's not getting a good ground to silence the uh, the IF. So it seems like I'm getting pulses there, but there's not enough to make a difference. Well, that's about it. I guess that covers it. Nothing else to really show you. I've um, been working on this thing for a few days here on and off, trying to figure it out. And I thought diodes, no, diodes are all good. Resistors are all look good. Um, I found the board wasn't wired the way Drake had it. Uh, this capacitor on the schematic on my board, this capacitor here, C104, goes to ground, goes to ground, and this goes to the switch to turn on and off the uh, noise blanker. So they changed something in here. Something's a foul. I don't know if I fell over figured out, but. It's time consuming and burning up time, but I thought, well, if I've gone this far on this receiver. If I can get noise blanker working, that would be uh, that would be a nice little plus. So, yeah, this seems like it's not grounding out the IF properly. So, I kind of look at that. Anyway, if you have any suggestions or help for me and how. And what I'm doing wrong, I put the waveforms up there on YouTube for you. This is an R4B. And if that looks reasonable or not, let me know. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.